Get ready for something truly extraordinary. The star that has been a guiding light for countless generations, Betelgeuse, is teetering on the edge of a cosmic transformation. NASA scientists are abuzz with the exciting possibility that Betelgeuse might soon burst into a massive supernova explosion, potentially even outshining our moon. However, as we gaze up into the night sky, it's important to consider that this star may have actually met its explosive end centuries ago. Join us as we delve into the enigmatic Betelgeuse, exploring the implications of its supernova explosion on our solar system and the chance that we might witness this incredible event with our own eyes. Brace yourself for a celestial spectacle like no other. Imagine looking up at the night sky and spotting the Orion constellation, one of the most easily recognizable patterns of stars. Now, focus on the top left corner of Orion's rectangular shape. Do you see that bright reddish star? That's Betelgeuse, a star located about 548 light years away from Earth. It has served as a guiding beacon for nighttime travelers for millennia. But what sets this star apart in the cosmic landscape? While our sun is certainly the most important star for us, providing the light and warmth necessary for life on Earth, in the grand scheme of the universe, it's quite average. Betelgeuse, on the other hand, is anything but ordinary. It's classified as a red supergiant, one of the most massive and luminous types of stars in the universe. Typically, Betelgeuse ranks as the tenth brightest star in the night sky and is the second brightest in the Orion constellation. Its distinct reddish hue makes it easy to spot, and it's known as a semi-regular variable star, which means its brightness fluctuates over time, with a range greater than any other first-magnitude star. In near-infrared wavelengths, Betelgeuse is the brightest star in the night sky. Its luminosity, the total amount of energy it emits, is truly impressive, shining between 90,000 to 150,000 times brighter than our sun. This remarkable energy output is a testament to the intense nuclear processes taking place in its core. To grasp the sheer size of Betelgeuse, consider this. If we were to position it at the center of our solar system, its massive outer surface would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even the asteroid belt. But let's return to the Orion constellation. Why is Betelgeuse's position in Orion significant? Orion, often referred to as the Hunter, is one of the most recognizable constellations in the night sky. Betelgeuse, with its radiant glow, forms one of the main points of this constellation. Together with Rigel, Bellatrix, and Saif, Betelgeuse outlines the figure of Orion, making it easier for stargazers to identify this celestial pattern. Its prominence in Orion isn't just due to its brightness, but also its position as one of the shoulder stars of Orion, playing a vital role in defining the constellation's shape. However, what if this familiar star, Betelgeuse, were to undergo a dramatic transformation? Current scientific knowledge suggests that Betelgeuse is on the verge of a significant change. Recent unexpected dimming events have sparked speculation that this colossal star might be approaching the end of its life much sooner than previously thought. It's anticipated to conclude its life cycle with a stunning supernova explosion, possibly occurring within the next 100,000 years. When this event takes place, Betelgeuse will light up the night sky, rivaling the brightness of a half-moon and lasting for several months. It will be a breathtaking sight to behold, but rest assured, life on Earth will remain unaffected. Betelgeuse began its existence as a main-sequence star similar to our Sun. What sets it apart is its immense mass, estimated to be between 10 to 20 times that of the Sun. Such massive stars have much shorter lifespans compared to their smaller counterparts. While our Sun has been shining for about 4.6 billion years and is expected to last another 5 billion years, massive stars like Betelgeuse consume their nuclear fuel at a significantly faster rate, living only a few million years. Have you ever wondered how stars like Betelgeuse evolve over time? Picture a bustling city with its primary industry being manufacturing. As long as resources are plentiful, the city thrives. However, as those resources begin to deplete, 
the city must adapt, evolve, and sometimes face decline. Stars, too, have their own life cycle, driven by the fusion processes in their cores. The main sequence phase of a star's life is akin to the city's golden age. During this phase, the star's core is a hub of activity, with hydrogen atoms fusing into helium. This nuclear fusion process releases an immense amount of energy, balancing the gravitational force attempting to pull the star inward. But for a massive star like Betelgeuse, this phase is relatively short-lived in astronomical terms. As the hydrogen in the core gets used up, similar to a city's primary industry running out of raw materials, the core contracts and heats up. This transition marks the star's next evolutionary phase. Now imagine our city diversifying its industries to adapt. Similarly, the star begins fusing helium into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. The star's outer layers respond to these internal changes by expanding dramatically, turning it into a red supergiant, much like a city that expands its borders to become a sprawling metropolis. But what does the future hold for this colossal star? Recent scientific observations suggest that Betelgeuse is on the cusp of a significant transformation. In the final months of 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse, a star that we've come to know so well, began to dim dramatically. This wasn't just a minor reduction in brightness, it was a substantial dimming clearly visible to the naked eye. This sudden and unexpected change was astonishing for a star that has been a constant presence in our night sky for millions of years. Scientists and astronomers rushed to find answers as the world watched with bated breath. Several theories emerged to explain this phenomenon. Some experts speculated that Betelgeuse might be progressing to the next stage of its life cycle, ready to burst into a magnificent supernova. Supergiants like Betelgeuse experience contractions and expansions as they deplete their nuclear fuel, which can lead to increased instability and variations in brightness. Other theories proposed that a massive object, such as a planet or another star, might be passing in front of Betelgeuse, temporarily blocking its light. Historical records and data indicated similar, though less dramatic, dimming events in the past. Additionally, some experts theorized that the dimming resulted from complex and unpredictable stellar physics, specifically massive convection currents within Betelgeuse. The Hubble Space Telescope offered a crucial clue, revealing that Betelgeuse had released a vast dust cloud that was obscuring its light. This wasn't a sign of the star's death, but rather a reflection of its dynamic and ever-changing nature. The enormous dust cloud had moved in front of the star, acting as a cosmic veil and dimming its light as seen from Earth. Further insights were gained with state-of-the-art telescopes equipped with adaptive optics, which captured high-resolution images of Betelgeuse's surface. These images revealed significant changes in its luminosity and appearance over relatively short periods. The star's surface wasn't uniformly bright, as one might expect, but displayed notable variations in brightness across its vast expanse. This was a clear indication that the star was undergoing intense internal processes, resulting in these surface variations. The cause of these variations lies in the intricate interplay of convection currents, magnetic fields, and the immense heat and pressure within the star. These bright spots, known as stellar granules, are large convective cells where hot plasma rises from the star's interior and cools as it reaches the surface. As the plasma cools, it becomes denser and sinks back into the star, creating a continuous cycle. On Betelgeuse, these granules are so large that they can cover a substantial portion of the star's surface, leading to noticeable variations in brightness. A team of astronomers even likened Betelgeuse's surface behavior to gelatin on a plate. This doesn't mean the star's surface is soft or squishy, but rather that it exhibits oscillations and pulsations, much like gelatin does when disturbed. Betelgeuse's natural 400-day pulsation appeared to have been disrupted, moving away from its accustomed rhythm. But let's address a significant question that has intrigued astronomers and sky watchers. Has Betelgeuse already gone supernova? Understanding this concept involves appreciating a fundamental principle. The universe communicates with us through light, and light takes time to travel. When we observe astronomical objects, including stars like Betelgeuse, we aren't witnessing them in the present, but as they existed in the past. Consider our observation of the sun as an example. 
When we look at the sun, we perceive it not as it is at this moment, but as it appeared about eight minutes ago. This time lag is due to the time it takes for sunlight to travel from the sun's surface to our planet, approximately eight minutes. So when we look at the sun, we're essentially peering into the past with an eight minute delay. Extend this concept to stars much farther away, such as Betelgeuse, which is approximately 700 light years distant. When we observe Betelgeuse today, we're not seeing it as it is in the current moment, but as it was around 700 years ago. The light from Betelgeuse embarked on its cosmic journey nearly seven centuries ago, and it is only now reaching our planet. This means that, in reality, we are looking into the distant past, observing Betelgeuse as it existed during the late Middle Ages. This time lag takes on added significance in the context of Betelgeuse's impending supernova event. As we eagerly await the day when Betelgeuse transforms into a supernova, it's crucial to recognize that this event has also already occurred in the past. In other words, Betelgeuse may have already exploded as a supernova, but the evidence and light from this extraordinary event are still en route to reach us. In summary, Betelgeuse, a star that has guided humanity through the ages, is poised for a remarkable transformation as it potentially enters the supernova phase. While we may have observed significant dimming events recently, we must bear in mind that the cosmic timeline operates on a vastly different scale, and the exact timing of Betelgeuse's spectacular end remains uncertain. Nevertheless, the anticipation of witnessing such a monumental event in our night sky is a testament to the ever-changing and awe-inspiring nature of our universe. The patterns we see in the night sky continually evolve as stars are born, live out their extraordinary lives, and eventually transform. Beyond the visual spectacle and the reshaping of familiar constellations, the explosion of Betelgeuse raises intriguing questions about its potential impact on extraterrestrial life should it exist in the star's vicinity. If life-bearing planets orbit stars near Betelgeuse, the supernova could have profound effects on their ecosystems. The sudden influx of radiation and cosmic rays might challenge the adaptability of any life forms present, potentially leading to mass extinctions or, conversely, spurring rapid evolutionary adaptations. For planets closer to Betelgeuse, the explosion could even alter their climates, affecting oceans, atmospheres, and potentially habitability. However, it's not all negative. Supernovae, despite their destructive power, are also creators. The explosion scatters heavy elements into space, seeding the interstellar medium with the building blocks of new stars, planets, and potentially life. In the long run, the remnants of Betelgeuse could provide the raw materials for future star systems to form, complete with their own planets, and perhaps the conditions suitable for life to emerge. So. What lies in store for Betelgeuse after its dramatic supernova explosion? The fate of this once mighty star is a captivating journey of transformation and rebirth. Following the explosion, Betelgeuse will leave behind a core, and the outcome depends on its mass. If the core's mass is below a certain threshold, it will become a neutron star, an incredibly dense object composed almost entirely of neutrons. Neutron stars are so dense that a small amount of their material would weigh as much as a mountain. Some neutron stars spin at astonishing speeds and can emit beams of radiation, making them observable as pulsars. On the other hand, if the core's mass exceeds this threshold, Betelgeuse's destiny is even more dramatic. It will collapse under its own gravity, forming a black hole, a region of space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape its clutches. Black holes are among the most mysterious and captivating objects in the cosmos, and although they are invisible due to their intense gravity, their presence can be detected by their effects on nearby objects and light. The space surrounding the remnants of Betelgeuse will be enriched with elements produced during the star's lifetime, including carbon, oxygen, silicon, and iron, which are essential for the formation of planets and life. These materials will gradually coalesce over millions to billions of years, forming new stars and planetary systems. In a sense, the death of one star paves the way for the birth of many others. Additionally, the supernova explosion will create a nebula, 
a vast cloud of gas and dust. This nebula, often referred to as a supernova remnant, will be illuminated by the energy from the explosion, creating a stunning display of colors and patterns. Over time, as the nebula expands and cools, it will merge with the surrounding interstellar medium, but its legacy will persist in the new stars and planets that form from its enriched material. To conclude, Betelgeuse's potentially impending supernova event is an enthralling cosmic spectacle that may have already occurred but is yet to reach us due to the limitations of the speed of light. It reminds us of the intricate dance of time and space in the universe. While we await the arrival of this celestial message, we can't help but marvel at the grandeur and mysteries of the cosmos. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Beyond discovery, don't forget your screen. It's bound to leave you amazed.